Never wanted to see Bruce Springsteen in concert. How about uh, Bono? What about both in the same night? <laughs> we can't promise that, but we can introduce you to a guy who can channel those musicians and more on stage. All in the name of comedy. That's right. He's at the Funny Bone this weekend. Welcome, Pat Godwin. Good to see you, Pat. Thanks for having me. Listen, these, so cool. sometimes comedians, they say they play musical instruments on stage, but they never bring them into our show. And you did. And Thank you, did. you for doing Woo! that. It's my personality. It's how things are delivered. It's yeah. The music is the delivery system. I always have it with me. Yeah. Is your show, uh, do you always have your guitar? Is the whole show with your guitar? Or do you just yeah, bring sometimes I travel with a piano, but I'll yeah. typically have the guitar with me. And I'll have it on the whole time and talk a little bit and just break into song. Like a Broadway musical. Talk yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit, just break into song for no <laughs> right. reason at all. I love it. No two shows are the same with right. you, right? Yeah, so what we, affects the content of your shows? What's that's the, the audience brings that element to it. You know, I don't necessarily work them, but if things happen, then they mm -hmm. get incorporated. So messy people in the audience kind of bring themselves to me with their uh, with their nonsense, and they become a part of the show. I never really force it. Yeah. You know? So what do you consider? Do you consider yourself a musician or a comic first? Well, well I'm quite the hybrid. I mean, I started off just doing music for 10 years, yeah. and then uh, I just happened to fall into comedy by talking to the audience more mm -hmm. to gain their attention. Because right. people weren't focusing on on the original songs back right. then, so it turned into full-blown comedy. Oh, that's so fun. Well, we mentioned Springsteen and Bono. Uh -huh. Who else do you like to perform as? You know, I can, I can take a bunch of different styles and people. In fact, since you mentioned Bono or Springsteen, I'll give you a touch of Bono. Since I'm Irish, I was a huge fan of the band U2 until Bono, the lead singer, started to uh, uh, talk, you know, and then he can, at this, <laughs> he can then preach. And at this point, Bono can take any song and make it sound very special. Yes. Bono okay, are we going to get a sample? Okay. I'll give you okay. a little bit of Bono. Woo. Bono taking any song and making it sound special. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> There was a farmer who had a dog <laughs> and bingo, bingo, who was his name, oh, singing bee, oh, bee, wow, bee, again. This one's for all the dogs in shelters. <laughs> Snoopy, hang on. Uh, I just I noticed myself the, uh, on the monitor and how, uh, oh my gosh, how much uh, I gained all this weight for a movie I want to watch. So, <laughs> hello. <laughs> That was well, awesome. That, was, that get, was really awesome. Can we get I, another sample? I mean, I don't want it to else? end. Okay, well, yeah, Do you have something else? Well, you mentioned Springsteen. I'll do a little Springsteen yeah. for you. Uh, any Springsteen song, all you need is a girl, a car, job you hate, town you want to leave. Mm -hmm. That's the Springsteen formula. Mm -hmm. And your name is? Kelly. Kelly, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, GMC Terrain. Kelly drives a GMC Terrain. <laughs> I, already, I already have a melody. Okay. And we, uh, you're an on-air personality. Yes. Okay. And you're from where? South Dakota. Here we go. Here we go. We're in South Dakota. Sioux Falls. Here we go. Okay. So Springsteen comes on. Here's his old girlfriend, he does it and it throws him off. Okay. How you doing this morning? Kelly, is that you? <laughs> yes, it is. It's me. Are you married now? Nope, still single. A long time ago you broke my heart. I wrote a song about it. It was just too painful. <laughs> Put in a CD. I'd like to do it for you now. It's called, it's called Cole Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke my heart. Why oh, I took God love. Why oh, <laughs> he really turned her. I love it. I remember your car, that beautiful terrain. We'd make out in the backseat, and now you're causing me so much pain. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, <laughs> Kelly. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So romantic. But I remember the day. He set me free. He said your dream was to become an on-air personality. <laughs> now you don't return my calls. I went back home to Jersey and you stayed in Sioux Falls. Yes! 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 Ha! 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 He brought it around. That, that was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. All so that, for you. All, Thank you so, so your much. Show, your show is all about that, working with the audience. <laughs> I heard we found a fun fact about you. You spilled a drink on Keith Richards. It's uh, a long story, but I did. We were backstage before uh, he was about ready to go on stage, and I worked in a radio station back then. Turned around, spilled it on uh, Keith Ooh. Richards. And, yeah, I, I, How did he feel about that? I don't think he felt it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't so know. I, yeah. I said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Richards. Oh, yes, he called me Mr. Richards. <laughs> And it was, uh, you were fantastic. Was, I'm just thank loving you so this. much. Yes. I, yeah, working on radio allowed me to meet so, uh, so many people mm -hmm. like that, and yeah. that is a true story. I spilled a whole hot coffee on him. He never changed. He took a drink of this orange thing. He took a sip before he went on stage. He looked at me. and Goes, I'm not a 
Oh, another nuclear nightmare. And he drank his <laughs> oh, orange drink Atlanta. down, and he was on stage, it's and he so was dramatic. great. Big, big That's coffee great. spill on his pirate ship. Now, what I love about your website is that you have on the side all these fun facts about you, which is a great oh, way to, to get your background. Uh, you were once a home shopping host, correct? The original QVC, I was the, I was the host. Uh, so before, and the QVC that you know now was based mm -hmm. out of Philly, and as I was doing uh, radio, I, I went over, and I was like the original host. Did we didn't really? have a script. We'd have to make up stuff, yeah. you know. Uh, this coffee cup is a circular coffee yeah. cup. You know, you just lie about yeah, you know, right. I'm not lying necessarily, but just like go on and on. Yeah. Then that became QVC once I got out of it. Well, I don't know if wow. you knew this, but the former host of the Morning Blend, Mary, actually just got a job last year on QVC. Yeah, she really? Has something right in common. Look at that. Yeah. It's like a yeah. tapestry, the way yeah. the show yeah. Yeah, It's together. amazing how it all comes together. And then you also held a pole vault record. I didn't know this. For how long? What, like 20 years? 22 years. My what husband was the record? record? <laughs> uh, it was only 12 8, but I still <laughs> held it. When was the last time you pole vaulted? Uh, it would have been uh, about uh, 75 years ago. <laughs> well, this you got to see the show this weekend. I love the guitar. Thanks oh, for bringing thank it on. You. And, and this club is just phenomenal. It is. Uh, Colleen, Colleen does, is she's wonderful. We, we are great. obsessed with Colleen. Yeah, Pat God was at the Funny Bone <laughs> two shows tonight, two tomorrow, and then Sunday he's got that seven o'clock show. You can get tickets at funnybonomaha.com. Pat, thanks for coming in. Thank I really you appreciate so it. Much yeah. for Have that a great song. weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a great it was beautiful. Song. I loved it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it brought a tear to my eye. It brought a tear. Uh, we saw